Brava has finally entered the game in Operation Commanding Force, and she's already been received well. So as an every player, you are probably going to see that, and you're going to be interested in her. So, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and cover her, what she can do, and what she can't do. Let's go ahead and start. Brava is a 3-speed 1 armor that comes with two clutch drones. Fun fact, the word clutch apparently in German means clever. Once you spawn into the match, like I said, you will come with two clutch drones, and this is what they look like. And if you recall, Floyd's drones are a little bit wider, but this, in terms of wideness, is smaller. But in terms of height, it's bigger. So with drone holes that have a cover over it, it will not fit through it. Now the question you're immediately asking yourself is what can the clutches do? By getting on your drone, you can go up to any Defender electronic, and by clicking your interact button, or whatever your shoot button is, it will start a process, and when that process is done, you will have access to whatever electronic you just hacked. So in this example, I just hacked the default cam and bar on Clubhouse, so now I have control over it. The defenders cannot use it whatsoever or see through it, similar to a mozzie hack when he hacks a drone. There is one specific way for the defenders to realize that one of their gadgets has been hacked. Uh, obviously, they're not going to see the outside camera if it's been hacked or not, but I'm going to use that as an example. Obviously, use your process to start hacking, and if you notice on the gadget, it has kind of this blue aura. If the defenders see this, or even if an attacker sees it, that means Brava has hacked the gadget, so that means it's on the attacker side now, not the defending. You gotta remember that, because some people are not going to realize on attack that the gadget has been hacked, and they're probably going to destroy it anyway, so you're going to have to call that out. Now, there is a few things you need to know about the drones. If you look at the left of the crosshair of the clutch, then you can see I have three crosshairs. One is grayed out, and that's because I use one of my three hacks. With each drone, you have three hacks, so in total, you can hack six electronics on the defending side. They are quieter than Flores drones, but they are much louder than Twitch drones. Another thing you have to consider when playing Brava is her relationship with Mozzie. Because she is a drone operator, she will be affected by Mozzie's pest in Muse Jammers. Now, the interesting thing about the pest is, yes, it obviously can be hacked by the pest, and with that, Mozzie can start hacking the electronics on the attacking side, so air jabs, claymores, not gridlocks because they're not electronic obviously, and other drones. But it's kind of Una reverse card when Brava has her second drone out because she can immediately hack that drone back and anything else that Mozzie has hacked, so it's kind of a massive FU to Brava and Mozzie when they're both being played on the board. That actually haven't happened to me yet. It, it, comment below if you actually had a drone war with Brava and Mozzie. I would love to know. Some of the notable operators that I think you should try to hack is Aroni's Gates because now they can no longer go through, and obviously they will start taking damage if they go through it. Likewise, if you get access to any Maestro Evil Eyes, then you can start hurting the defenders or just getting general information. If you get access to one of the two Echo Cams, then you can start Sonic Blasting the defenders, and if they try to defuse the diffuser, you can do the same thing that Echo likes to do to you and stop them. If you bring IQ, this will be really good because now Echo cannot hide his cams anywhere. And again, like my show, you can just use it for general information because not only do you have two clutch drones, you also have two regular drones, and theoretically, you can also get both of Echo's cams, so in total, you can have six drones. I repeat, six of them. Also, if you just saw the gameplay right there, you saw that I hacked the default cam and the bulletproof camera, and the bulletproof camera also has EMPs, so that's going to be really nice to hack, in my opinion. And if you add Calipice Prismas, if the defenders shoot it, they will get pinged and nothing will happen to you as an attacker, so that's always really nice to have. Since Capcan has recently come to the meta, and now that Brava's here, Capcan's going to have a little bit of a hard time because now she can just straight up hack his traps and the defenders will die from it, which is going to be pretty fun to see. Now, if a Jaeger ADS or a Rumai Magnet gets hacked, then if a defender tries to throw a Natural Soul or an Impact, Smoke Grenades, whatever they can throw that will damage the attackers, it will be caught by the ADS and the Magnet. So, Uno Reverse card, I would say. And now, the last software I'm going to talk about, if you do not get muted by the Mute Jammer with your drone, then you can hack the Mute Jammer and any electronic in its radius will also be muted off, so Jaeger ADS, Rumais, anything I literally just mentioned will be muted off. And if you somehow manage to hack a Nitro Cell, it will just simply be destroyed, it will not go off, or you can just pick it up. Although that would be pretty cool if you could just pick up the Nitro Cell and have it as a secondary gadget on attack. Maybe that would be an interesting concept for another operator, but we'll have to wait and see. Alright, well I just spent almost 5 minutes talking about the gadget, now let's finally talk about her loadout, which some of you are going to be pretty interested in. 
To start off, she comes with a Para 308, which can do 54 damage if you have Extended Barrel. And obviously, if you have Vertical Grip, it won't have that much recoil. And overall, is a solid AR. However, it does have a little bit lower fire rate compared to his other AR brethren. So look out for that. She does, however, come with Bugs Cameron's DMR, but I personally wouldn't recommend it because I'm not a big fan of that DMR. And the par is just objectively better because it is a full auto with a solid fire rate. OG Mozzie mains are going to be happy about this because she comes with the Super Shorty Secondary Shotgun, which is great as destruction, but in terms of killing, it's not really effective, but that's not the main use for it. The destruction part is really huge for it, and the fact that Brava comes with that, with her an amazing gadget, that is very strong in my opinion. And she comes with Jackal's Secondary Handgun, but let's be honest, the Super Shorty is just better. And finally, as for her secondary gadgets, she comes with smokes and claymores. I personally would like the smoke grenades because it can clear all my magnets and Jaeger ADSs or block off line of sights for the defenders. And I'm just not a huge fan of claymores in general. That is all the objective information I can give about Brava. And now time for my personal opinion about her. And that is that this operator in particular has a lot of potential in the meta. I have said this to my friends ever since she was revealed. Why destroy utility when you can have it for your own and it could benefit you in the long run? The concept of the operator alone could potentially just make her A tier. I've seen people even put her up in S tier, but I don't know. I think that's a little bit too early to tell with her amazing gun, her amazing gadget, and smoke grenades being a 3 speed with the super shorty. I can see the argument of her being an amazing operator and yeah, maybe even S tier. However, if you are a newer player, I would recommend staying away from here for a little bit and maybe looking at some other guides and looking at the in-game how-tos and see how other people play with her because she is kind of complicated to learn. To get the most out of her drones, you need a lot of team coordination and concerning fact, if you are a newer player, you are going to be playing a lot of casual and that is just not going to happen. Now, if you're in a competitive setting like scrims, ranked, or god forbid challenge league, then you can get a lot out of Brava if you have a well coordinated team, but don't be surprised if they bring a mute Mozzie just to counter you, and because you are bringing a drone operator, they are going to be more focused on drones. But like I said, once you understand the basics of Brava, she has humongous potential, and honestly, she might be an alternative to Thatcher when it comes to banning operators. That is the hope, because God, I just want to play Thatcher, and I'm tired of him being banned, so pray to God. But finally, I'm going to say that's the end of the video. If you like what I make, I appreciate it if you subscribe. And if you're interested in any other operators that I have covered, I have more than likely covered them already because I have covered almost every operator in the game. So go check out my playlist. And I am Creator Tony. I hope you have a good day or good night. And goodbye.